Hey friends, how you doing? How your mama doing? How your father doing? How your cousin doing? How your bishop doing? I am so happy that you tuned into this video. If you are not new here, welcome back and thank you for your continuous support. If you're new here, my name is Janira. I'm a hairstylist and makeup artist based in New York City. I work on a variety of campaigns, anything from editorial to fashion to commercials to celebrity and all of the cool things in between. But today, I'm here to teach you guys how to do box braids. So if you are a current subscriber and you know that I had a box braid video that I put out last year, I did crochet box braids and then box braids from scratch, similar to the routine that I did today. If you have not seen those, it's all good girl because we're going to be friends. You can go on and watch that when this is done. But I decided to work on my technique. So last year was the first time that I ever box braided my hair. Even though I'm a hairstylist and I do them for clients, it's very different when you're doing your own hair. On top of last year, I mentioned I literally did not use any mirrors. I was using my camera monitor and I just kind of was freestyling the parting. And the one thing that I learned in the last year is when your parting is super neat and clean, you get a really nice break. Today I am going to show you how I part my hair. I'm going to show you the three point mirror system that I've developed that allows me to literally see my head from all angles. And I posted about it on Twitter and people were inquisitive and I was like, oh, y'all care? Cool. That's a big thing now. A lot of people aren't braiders and they're not sure how to do it, but we're living in a DIY society. I'm from Baltimore and literally we call box braids 200. You already know you want to spend close to 200 to get your hair braided. And honestly, in 2020, you can buy $30 worth of box braid hair and do it yourself. So I've been doing my own DIY. I think I'm getting better at my technique on myself. It's just, you know, getting your hands to move and shift and do and all of that is a lot different than when you have someone in front of you and you can just rock and roll. I know that may not make any sense. It's like, girl, if you do hair, how come you can't do your own hair? Listen, I'm going to show you how I lay my edges, how I prep them with mousse, how I dip my ends, and I hope you enjoy it. So as always, if you find it helpful, be sure to thumbs it up. It really, really helps me. It helps my video to get into the algorithm, which is so hard on YouTube these days, so that other people can watch it. And if you found it helpful, hopefully somebody else will find it helpful. If you also have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can meet me down in the comment section. I will be in the back by the snacks. And if you want to know anything about the products you use, be sure to peek the description box. I have an Amazon store. I'll put a lot of the things in the Amazon store. Obviously, it'll help me as well. But if you find it somewhere else cheaper, please go and save you some money. It is not that kind of party. I'm not that hard pressed or hard up for YouTube. <laughs> and if you are not subscribed, be sure to do that. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. God willing, I know it's getting warm. Y'all ready to turn up and enjoy yourself. Put your mask on and keep your distance, okay? It's not worth it. Or if you can't do either one of those things and it's too hard for you, then stay your tail home, okay? Don't ruin everybody else's time. All right, so I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Oh, well, stay tuned so we can get into this here. Bye! <laughs> and this is my hair already shampooed and conditioned. I put it in these braids to stretch it without needing to use a blow dryer. And this is my hair parted and instead of using rubber bands to hold my parts, I use Bantu knots and now I'm gonna show you my mirror setup that helped me to do this. So I switched over to my vlogging camera really quickly just to show you my three point parting system setup that is immaculate especially if you want super neat parts and you are new to this. So I did it in my bathroom which typically the front would be my mirror, my medicine cabinet mirror would be here and I would have another mirror there but that would require me to take my lights in the bathroom and just do a whole bunch of stuff girl we're not doing all that. One of my wall mirrors and put it here. So. This would be your main bathroom mirror if you're doing it in the bathroom. What two minis, I actually got these from Target. Super affordable. If I lean my head down, I can see this, right? If I lean this in, I can see this. And you just kind of adjust them. Look in here, see what I'm seeing? Me and my main mirror. See what I'm seeing in my main mirror? me in this one. I want to do the back of my head I just turn around and I just use my portable hand mirror just to show me the back. So one last thing quick thing I want to mention is also make sure you get you a red tail comb that either has a metal tail or it's a really fresh sharp red tail comb. I mean not too sharp you're not trying to draw blood from your scalp now but I like to use a red tail comb and what I'll do is I'll just go straight across one time and usually I'm more than likely to get a sharp clear precise fresh part that way and then if I have to clean up some stuff where I didn't get enough it's easier to clean up that way as opposed to like part 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 and parting all the way across girl you're gonna be doing that all night and we ain't got the time so that's all I got to say so hopefully this little three-point system setup thing makes some sense to y'all and stay tuned because we about to get these braids girl I'm done talking bye and to ensure a pretty balanced braiding pattern I like to part my hair horizontally at the crown and then start my parts vertically at the front 
and then drag them all the way to the back and then do horizontally. So the hair we're using today is Sensational's African Collection Color Braid. If you saw my last video, you saw me cleanse this hair to perfection. And now this is the hair laid out and dried and pre-sectioned and ready to braid. So I learned from last year's video that trying to film the entire head and braid it is too energy consuming, time consuming, and aggressive. So I left the last two braids to show you my technique. So for today's leave-in, I'm going to be using Shea Moisture's Coconut Oil Leave-In Conditioner. So although it's a lightweight formula, it has a really nice moisturizing, milky consistency that helps to keep my hair hydrated. So not only do I use it on my hair, whenever I need to refresh and rehydrate my scalp, I also use it. To smooth my edges and my roots, I'm going to be using Silk Elements Mega Silk Edge Control. It not only provides a lasting shine, but it also provides a reliable hold, especially for type 4 hair. So if you're a fan of Hicks Edge Control, you would like Silk Elements, and it's half the price. Alright, so now it is time to braid. So what you're going to be doing is taking the extensions, the braiding hair, and laying it flat on top of your section like so and then you're just going to braid it down you're going to start your braid nice and neat nice and snug not too tight but enough that you get a firm grip And then once you get to this point, when you have about two to three inches of your hair left, you're just going to take a little bit of a pinch of hair from one of your sides, whichever side feels most comfortable to you. So I'm taking a little bit from my right side, which you guys see is my left side. I'm going to add it to my hair, as you can see, and then I'm just going to braid it down. The key here is that the pinch of hair that you take out, you want to make sure that it is fairly even to the other pieces you don't want to take out too little but you don't want to take out too much where you leave the piece that you took hair from too skimpy and then to blend your hair in once you get down to the very end about an inch of hair left you go in to add a little bit of gel or edge control of your choice to smooth it in and then you're just going to braid it down to the end i think this method in my opinion is a lot easier than feed in i think it's a lot less complicated than feed in and you still get a nice smooth firm beautiful braid and you can either braid it all the way down to the end or you can leave about a half an inch to an inch of hair free that you will dip so now we're going to repeat the process we're going to add our leave-in starting at the ends working it through the hair then we're going to add our edge control to the roots and make sure we smooth our edges and if you have excess product or build up i like to use the tail of my comb just to smooth it out same here, but I added a piece of Platinum Blonde for a little razzle dazzle. So we're just going to add the braiding hair on top of our existing part. So the braiding hair has two sides, our hair is the third piece, and we're just going to braid it down. And then like we did before, once we get to about two inches of our hair left, like so, We're going to pinch off a piece and add that to our hair. And now we have all three pieces blended seamlessly. And then we're just going to braid that down a little bit. And once we get all the way to the ends, like so, I'm going to add a little bit of edge control to that piece, making sure it's nice and smooth and blending in. And then we're just going to braid it all the way down. And this is our completed braid. And these are our two completed braids. And this is our head full of completed braids. And now it's time to do those edges, my favorite part. Obviously, you can do your own thing, freestyle it. I just like a nice, simple swoop. I like to smooth it on down. I'm adding a little bit of extra baby hair for play, but because I have on makeup, I don't want it to be too chalky and too clumpy. And you guys know how I feel about being able to wash my forehead. So now I'm going to be going in with my Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. This is just going to be able to help set the style, add additional moisture and shine, and smooth any flyaways. 
Then I'm going to go in with my Sanex Mega Strips. I'm going to use about three or four strips and I'm just going to wrap it flat and tie it in the back. So you can either boil your water on the stove. I chose to boil it for five to six minutes in a microwavable bowl. And now I'm just going to dip the ends a few times, towel dry them. I'm going to do that on all of them and that's pretty much it. So now that my ends are dipped and I have allowed my hair to set with the Sanex strips for about 20 minutes, I can remove them. And because I let them air dry, I'm just going to take the Sanex strip and remove any excess product. And so this is the final look. I'm very proud of these braids. I mean, I have come a long way since last year. I know for a fact the parting really cleans it up it really makes it neat even if your braids not all that if it's parted neatly it'll appear to be all that i mean look at that slade okay looks good so as always if you found this video helpful be sure to thumbs it up if you have any comments questions or concerns meet me down in the comment section i will be in the back by the snacks and if you found this video helpful be sure to hit that subscribe button and cut on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload as always, I love you guys so much. Please stay safe and God willing, I will see you in my next video. Bye. This is getting ridiculous. It's so crazy how literally every time I go to film, it's a bunch of noise. Girl, what are you in it? Let's do it. What time is it? Because I said I was going to be done by 8. It is 7.48. I'm going to be done in 10 minutes. Okay, so. This is really what your bed and your room looks like when you are a YouTuber and you got to clean up at the end. A hot mess. Just give me all a little BTS.